Hello everyone, my name is Devojati Dash. Welcome to Bytes on Tech. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to install Myotic. Myotic is an email marketing application and it's open source. Just click on download and go to release. Uh, here you will find the option download Myotic. Click uh, and then just scroll down. You need to fill up uh, this information. Uh, basically name and uh, company name. You can provide uh, any name you want. If you don't have a company uh, then you need to answer these questions just yes and no and scroll down and click on the download button okay I have already downloaded the zip file uh, I will uh, use my hosting account for installation of this email marketing application you can use other platform also like uh, data ocean contable so I'll create one subdomain for the installation. Let's say mail. I'll create a subdomain. So it will be like mail dot or okay. The URL. So what I'll do is uh, I'll install the SSL. One thing that is good about hosting is like it's providing a free SSL for a lifetime click on install and install SSL the installation process is same for other platform also if you are using DataOcean or uh, Contabo but uh, you can also install this Myotic application on Amazon free TL account okay so what I will do is I will uh, attach one guide uh, you can follow on my blog post uh, so you can check out the blog post and you, you can install this on AWS okay so let's just check uh, mail dot uh, bytes on tech dot com okay as you can see the account has been created we are good to go let's just go and create one database okay uh, so just uh, provide one name for creating the database uh, let's say Python take uh, mail server Uh, I will just use the name mail server only. Okay. So I will use the same name mail server for the database name and also for the username. You can use different one if you want. If you want. Okay. Just use a strong password. Create. Okay. We are done. Now we need to go to the file manager. Before that, uh, I will copy this username. So let's go to File Manager. Okay, and then uh, let's go to our folder mail. Okay, just open the subdomain folder and I will delete this files these are the default files okay so I will delete this and we need to upload the zip file that we uh, we have downloaded from myotic.org okay just select the zip file and click on upload it will take some time okay okay I think it's almost done uh, so here it is we need to extract this uh, right
right click uh, and extract okay okay for extraction i will use the dot and click on extract or uh, it will take some time to extract all the files anyway in my previous uh, blog post on uh, youtube video tutorials i have already shown you how to build your own smtp server okay if you have built your own smtp server then you can uh, connect that server to this uh, email marketing application and send unlimited email for free okay uh, so for this video tutorial i'm not going to connect uh, that uh, but uh, what i will use is one of the hostinger emails i will create one email on my hostinger account and then i will use that uh, email id as a smtp server you can also do that if you have hostinger uh, hosting plans or if you have already subscribed to any of the hosting plans but there are certain limitation uh, for business plan i think you can send 5000 emails per day so please check uh, the information you can also use if you have a business account you can also use to send you can create email ids and you can connect it with uh, this myotic application and you can send campaigns if you don't need to send unlimited email campaigns just 5000 campaigns per day is enough for you then you can use this hosting or emails let's just wait okay uh, let's create one email id in the meantime and go to emails and click uh, email accounts uh, i will use my bytesontech.com email to, uh, so add email account okay so just give a name uh, let's say let's say mail at the rate of byte .com. okay just give one password Previously, it used to show the SMTP configuration over here, but uh, anyway, uh, let's just go to email delivery and check all the records are valid or not. Uh, here it says the DKI record is not, uh, it's inactive. Okay, so I will set it to uh, set as default. I will click on the set default uh, so that. Uh, it will work properly so it's done uh, so as you can see all the records are active okay uh, so all the records are good uh, active and let's just go and install uh, the myadic I think okay it's the extraction has completed uh, okay i will delete this uh, as a file i don't need this one after that we'll go and install you can keep it if you want okay so mail dot bytes on dot com and one more thing uh, sorry uh you can use mail.hostinger.com to access that email id okay to access emails you can use this so mail.bytesontech.com to install the myotic let's just wait for the installation of wizard uh, just a few seconds uh, okay so click uh, next here you need to uh, you know just copy the database username or uh, you just need to put the database information so let me go to the 
my SQL database and I will change the password first actually I forgot the password mm. okay I will update the password okay now let's go to the solution here just uh, give the username uh, in the database name and also present the password okay. click next uh, here you have to give a username uh, what I will do is I will use bytes on tech uh, and uh, you can use different username so you just need to mention password uh, and you have to provide the first name and last name and a temporary email address just let me enter the password first uh, first name okay done so uh, here you can create some email IDs and uh, put it there and but uh, what I will do is I will uh, give a normal Gmail ID over here and uh, after installation is complete I will change it from the settings okay now here you have to enter the uh, SMTP credentials so for this video tutorial I'm using uh, the email ID that I have created uh, on hosting card I'm, I will use it as a SMTP server so let's just say mail.hostinger.com okay inscription TLS uh, okay we have installed SSL but uh, let's just install TLS uh, like let's just use TLS okay authentication login okay so the username is uh, basically the first mention the port 587 use the port 587 username is basically the email id and the password is the same password that you have given when uh, when you created the email id so mail at the rate of bytes on tech.com Okay. Instead of this hosting our email, you can also use your own email server, SMTP server basically. So let me just log in. As you can see this is the dashboard of myotic okay so from myotic you can run uh, email campaign let's just go to uh, settings configurations okay so this is the setting let's go to email settings okay uh, so here I will change the email ID but first let me do one thing okay I will change the email ID I want uh, my mail to send from mail at the rate of bytesontech.com I want to send mail from this particular ID if you want to send email from a particular email ID uh, basically then you can create an one email id and connect it as a smtp server okay so mailer is the owner okay and then other smtp let me show you something here you can add uh, any smtp you want like from amazon ses to mailjet or anything uh, any smtp services you can add or even here you can add your uh, own smtp server okay so just select the other smtp option and let me apply first and save this okay save okay let me go 
to the configuration again okay so email settings okay so let me test the connection I don't know why it's taking so much time I think there is a problem Let, let's just wait okay there is a problem okay what is the problem connection could not be established with the host okay there is problem with the host okay uh, i will use mail dot hosting here it will be like smtp dot hosting dot com okay so this is the problem now let's apply again and test the connection Uh, let's just test the connection bingo success so the connection is working okay test send mail okay let's just save it anyway now everything is okay uh, let me uh, show you the this application here in inside channel you will get the option emails from here you can uh, create email camp email basically customized email for your uh, campaigns click on new you can uh, create emails for segments or even contacts so these are some templates you can use so these are some templates so you can select the templates then uh, just go to the builder here from here you can change you can customize everything okay uh, let's go to segment uh, okay uh, before that uh, yes uh, let's just go to segment here you can add segments for example for list if you want to you know upload contacts just create a list and let's see the contact part uh, from here you can add uh, upload contacts uh, through csv file just click on the import button or even export also you can add also single contacts using quick add this is uh, basically this is the dashboard you will get all the statistics here okay anyway uh, thank you thanks for watching please subscribe